Good morning, everyone. This is Monday Morning Marketing and Coffee with your host, Tim Brown. Hey, I'm excited to chat with you guys today. I'm going to be talking about a couple different things um, related to avoiding burnout. So sometimes I feel like the reason I talk about this is because I'm trying to avoid it. Um, but I do have some pretty good strategies that I've found that are useful to avoid burnout. So I want to share those with you and hopefully some of them are, you know, applicable to yours. Maybe there's one that you haven't done before and maybe it'll be useful. Feel free to take a sip of coffee with me here um, and get excited about your week. So the first way that I have to suggest to avoid burnout is to turn it into a game. So, you know, lately I've been tracking like five different things related to, you know, key activities that I want to be doing every week. And I'm kind of competing against myself. So I have five key things that are measurable and reasonable and their goals that really affect the work I'm doing. So I'm tracking them over time and I'm kind of competing against yourself. You have to find a way to do this that energizes you. So I find that, you know, tracking them and kind of looking at how those progress over time is extremely useful for me. But however, whatever energizes you, I think that that's the best way to do it. But um, I find week goals and three month goals to be my favorite because a year is a long time, right? So a year, it's very easy to get kind of distracted and halfway through the year, my goals change sometimes. So I think tracking three month goals is a great way to do it. So another way to avoid burnout for me has been to reward myself along the way. So consider rewarding yourself along the way. So if it, if you hit a three month goal, for instance, you know, I'm going to take myself out for, you know, steak or, you know, I'm going to get a um, massage or I'm going to, you know, do something fun. I'm going to go to, you know, for us in Minneapolis, maybe I'm going to go to Stillwater and we're going to, you know, do something. So whatever it happens to be, but find something that's a reward for yourself to kind of put out there. If you hit a certain um, goal, I think that that's extremely useful. Um, my third way of avoiding burnout is going to um, find things, it's going to be to find things that change your brain. So, you know, brain chemistry or your, you know, whatever you are, you're trying to change the, the mindset. So, things that change your brain. So, one of mine is running. Um, another one of mine is chugging water. And a third one for me is either fast breathing or meditation. So, I learned um, this kind of fast breathing technique from Tony Robbins. Um, and it's to breathe in and out forcefully for, um, you know, 30 times as hard in and as hard out as you possibly can. And it, and it quickly kind of gives a little bit of endorphins. But the point is, is like, if you're trying to change your brain chemistry, there are things you can do, you know, with your situation to get it, you know, swap up those, uh, uh, that, that negativity and bring in some positivity. And I think that there's, you know, not everybody takes advantage of these things, but really a lot of it is physical. And I think people note that and can figure that out when they, you know, they're having there's everything to be good, but for some reason they are, you know, still feeling negative or still feeling burned out. Um, those are the moments where you need to figure out how to change that, that uh, brain makeup basically. And, you know, Ideally, it's something positive and healthy, and that's why I think running, chugging water, and either fast breathing or meditation are you know, three real quick ways to change your, um, your brain composition, basically. So I know that um, it's not always that easy to just you know completely avoid burnout or whatever, so I think that in those moments when you do burn out or you're feeling burned out, I think that there is, there is appropriate time to rest. Um, but, you know, there's also that mindset of like, you know, when you think you're at capacity, you could be, you know, the Marines always say, you know, when you think you're at capacity, 
you're actually only at like 35%. So you might be selling yourself short. You might actually be capable of a lot more. And so try these three main things in review. It's uh, turn it into a game, reward yourself along the way, and find things that change your brain, quick things that change your brain, like running, chugging water, or breathing and meditation. So those are the ways that I avoid burnout. Um, you know, maybe you're burned out of these Monday morning marketing videos, so I'm gonna let you guys off early. Um, but uh, this is my, my six minute quick version of Monday morning marketing today, and I really appreciate you guys joining me, um, and I hope that some of this is useful for you guys. Find something about your work that you love doing, do a little bit more of that this week, and, have a good one. Right, bye.